Hey guys, happy Sunday. It's Matt from the Hickory Grove. Um, just wanted to bring another good plant that's in your backyard. It's a very common plant. Um, and it's a very tasty edible plant to have on the trail or just anytime you're out in nature. <clears throat> wood sorrel. Now wood sorrel, I know everybody has seen it before. And um, a lot of people confuse it with the clovers. Um, very similar, very similar leaf pattern. Uh, what you're looking for is right here. Now you see what I mean by it looking like your common clover? Let me see if I can isolate a leaf. Okay, so this is your leaf pattern you're looking for when you're looking for wood sorrel. Um, it's a very, well, like I said, if you're, if you're into clovers, it looks like a clover. Um, more distinctively, you want to look for these yellow flowers. Now, these yellow flowers will stem out into the center of a clump, and these clumps come like this. Okay, this is how we'd be sitting in the ground. I pulled this up as is, you know, right off my trail here. And um, it'll be, with, the yellow flowers will be within this clump, and you'll see them spread out in different uh, stages of blooming. And um, that's an easy way to identify. Now, these don't grow very tall, but they do grow in clumps. Um, so when you see them, they'll be all together, and you'll know it. Now, the great thing about these is, these are a great, nutritious trail snack. You can eat the entire thing. Um, just throw it right in your mouth. The leaves are incredible. They give you this, like um, a lemony taste to it. A very lemon sweet, almost sweet sour taste. Um, but it's one you can just pick up, inspect for bugs, which there's usually not a lot in it. And, um, just sit here along the trail and eat or take home and uh, put it into a green, you know, as a, use it as a green. The whole plant, um, I don't know much about the root base, but I usually separate it from the roots. And from the stalk up, you can eat it. It's very good. You take the little yellow flowers, they're just as edible. Like I said, it tastes like, um, like lemon. Very uh, lemon powerful taste and um, the younger the plant of course the more powerful the taste but as they're younger they're harder to identify because they don't have the flowers in them right at that point um, we're in mid-july right now it's a great time to go find them and uh, just sit around and chew on very nutritious for you a lot of vitamins in it vitamin c rich um, it's just all around good little snack to have and um it's good just to have, you know, incorporate with a meal at your house or when you're camping. Just grab some up for some flavor. And uh, you can boil the leaves and it brings out a little bit of that lemon. Not a lot, but you can um, make it into a tea. All different types of stuff. It's very, very nutritious and very, very good. And I promise you, you will like it. But it's wood sorrel. That's S-O-R-R-E-L. Um, and there's different species in this family um, but the common dominant name for it is wood sorrel and this is how you'll find it here in northern Pennsylvania just like this wonderful plant um, there's a lot of common plants that you'll find you know right in your backyard and this is one of them and um, my friend Mark Losinger is actually the one that really got me into these and he had my kids yesterday and just eating them right out in the woods and they were really enjoying it so I really encourage you guys to go out, look for the wood sorrel, wrap up a little bit, and just eat it. I mean, I promise you, it's really good. So, there you go. I'll talk to you guys later.